Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. A few days ago, I went over a piece of news that Honda was asking certain websites to remove 3D print models as long as they mentioned Honda in the name because they were producing these models where you were able to make cup holders and latch handles and washer fluid caps and little odds and ends for your car. This was so that you could 3D print them at home if you needed those parts for your car. And I expressed aggravation at what they were doing. The reason I expressed that aggravation is it's not like they emailed them and said, hey, can you do us a favor and say cup holder for a Honda that is not OEM instead of saying Honda Civic cup holder model or something like that? That's not what they did. They just said, you know, take this stuff down. And I thought that went against the spirit of allowing you to work on your own vehicle. And I also thought it just went against the basic spirit of why can't I share a drawing or a model that shows you how to make a part for your car freely and then say this fits this model in your car. It, I, I didn't think the intention was there to make it seem like this came from Honda. But if that was their aggravation, if they thought, you know, maybe somebody will think that this 3D print file came from Honda, even though they're not releasing 3D print files, couldn't you just ask in a different way for that to be made available? But some of you in the comment section demonstrated there are other automotive manufacturers that are trying to embrace the 3D print community that are not sending takedown notices to these websites. And one of them is Ford. I want to point you to a video done by 3D Printing Nerd, who has a really cool channel that I'll link to you down below. And you'll see that there's a bunch of interesting stuff that he's got here. He's showing you all these little odds and ends that you could make for your car and uh, how they hang in there. And this is Ford releasing open source CAD files for 3D printing of truck accessories. So it's going to make it easier for you to 3D print whatever type of accessory you would want to make for your own car. And to my knowledge so far, if you actually make these files and you upload them to these websites, Ford is not then going to those websites, again, as of April 18th, 2022, you never know, but as of now, they're not going to these websites and saying, take this down. How dare you make a part to our car? How dare you make a washer fluid cap and say it fits a Ford F-150 from 2020? They're just allowing people to make these parts and realizing that their car company is not going to go out of business because you printed a washer fluid cap or a cup holder. And I think that that is a much better approach to take. I don't think that Ford has been 110% perfect with right to repair in the past or even in the present, but this is, in my opinion, one step better than Honda in one small way. And it demonstrates that you can indeed protect your trademark, protect your copyright, and also engage with the community in a good way that creates positive feelings for everybody involved without issuing takedown notices because somebody made a cup holder. And I really appreciate those who brought this to my attention.